Hey and welcome back. This is episode number two of this tutorial series slash crash course on ROS2. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. In the previous tutorial, you have installed and set up ROS2. Now we are going to directly start a ROS2 node and understand what it is. And very basically put, a ROS2 node is simply a ROS2 program that's going to interact with ROS2 communications and tools. Okay, so I have four terminals here. And let's start a node. So where can we find a ROS2 node? Well, actually, when you install the ROS2, there are some packages that are actually example packages that you can use directly to start a node without having to create one. So we're going to run ROS2. Okay, so the ROS2 command line and then space run. And after this, you will need to provide the name of a package. So the ROS2 nodes are going to be organized in packages. Okay, for example, you have a package for a camera driver, a package for a navigation of a robot, etc. In each package, you can have different programs or nodes. So here, the package we want is called demo underscore nodes. And you can press tab here. And you can see we have auto completion. So if I press tab twice, I get this auto completion and I have several choices. I'm going to choose demo nodes CPP and then I press space again and now I need to provide the name of the node. We are going to go with a node that's name is talker. So ROS2 run demo node CPP talker. Then you are going to press enter and you can see we have something. So the node is running so that's a program that's running and you can see it is printing stuff. Now you can press ctrl c to kill the node. And just one quick note is that if you don't have this, but if you have ROS2 command not found, it's because you have not correctly set up the environment after installing ROS2. So in this case, make sure, so let's go to, so let's do JDIT bash rc. So let's go to the bash rc file. Let's go to the bottom and at the bottom, you should have this line, okay? Source opt ROS humble setup dot bash. And now let's come back to the node. So what you see here on the screen are logs from the node. And this node is named talker. Here you can see the timestamp. And this is what's coming from the node. So that's simply a program that's going to print publishing hello world with a counter. So let's run this node again. Now we have run running node. Now in this terminal, let's do clear. And let's do ROS2 run demo nodes. CPP. So I'm going to use the same package. And in this package, we have uh, other nodes. For example, we have listener. So listener. Okay, like that. I can press enter. And look what's here. I heard hello world 22. And that's exactly what is written here. Okay. So I have one node here, one node here. Let's do RQT graph. In another terminal. So what is RQT graph? RQT graph is a tool. This is a ROS tool that you can use to actually see the graph. So what is the graph? Let's run it and okay, let's put it full screen and let's do refresh here. So what is the graph? The graph is simply the representation of all the nodes that are running. And so you can see that here we have one node called Talker, which is the first node we have started, and one node called Listener, which is the second node we have started. And this is actually a topic, so we are going to come back to topic later in this crash course. But what you can see here is that this node is talking to that node. So the node here, Talker, is sending some information to the node Listener. And that's what we can see here. You can see that what's being sent here is received by this program. Okay, let's say I kill the Talker node. Okay, you can see the listener node, I press enter here, is still working, is still waiting for stuff to receive. When I start again, you can see publishing hello one, two, let's kill it. And you can see here, I heard hello world one, two, and three. So with this example here, you can see that a node, well, is simply a program that you're gonna run. So it can be any program, it can be a C++ program, a Python program, and the specificity of that program is that it's connected to the ROS2 environment. 
So in this case, the node here named talker is going to send some messages using ROS2 communications. And this node named listener is going to receive messages also using ROS2 communications. You can note also that the logs here are handled by ROS. So nodes are also using tools like logging. And also when we launched the RQT graph, which is a visual tool, you can also debug the nodes. So a node, well, basically it's a program that's going to use ROS2 functionalities. Now let's stop everything. So let's do clear and let's stop the RQT graph too. Okay, let's clear this and let's also stop with control C and clear. So now we have nothing running. So actually if I do RQT graph, you can see, so I can refresh here. Well, we have nothing because there is no node currently running. I'm going to use a second example. We are going to run, so ROS2, run, so that's the same comment. Now we are going to go in the turtle sim package. So turtle sim is a great package to start experimenting with robots in two dimensions. And so from turtle sim, we are going to go with turtle sim underscore node. Okay, so name of the package turtle sim, name of the node, turtle sim node. I press enter. And what do we have? Oh, you can see we have a window, so graphical window, uh, that's blue, and inside we have a turtle. If I go back to RQT graph, let's refresh. You can see we have a node called turtle sim. That's the node we have studied here. And this node, well, the previous nodes we have studied were just nodes that were interacting with the terminal, sending logs and messages. Here you can see this node is also creating a graphical interface. Now let's start. So I'm going to actually make uh, it here. So change the layout a bit and keep the turtle here. In this terminal, let's do ROS2 run turtle sim. So still in turtle sim package, we're going to do turtle underscore teleop key. So I press tab here and let's press enter. This node here is going to listen to what you type on the keyboard. You can see here reading from keyboard. So this is going to listen to what you type and then let's see what it's going to do. So for example, I'm going to use the arrows of the keyboard. So the up arrow and you can see that the turtle here has moved. If I use the left, okay, it's turning up, down, right. You can see I can make the uh, turtle navigate, okay? And so what's happening here? Well, we have one node here that's responsible for creating a graphical interface with a turtle. And then we have one node here, so that's another program that's responsible for reading from the keyboard. And then, as we can guess, sending some command to that other node. Okay, so this one will be sending comments this one will be receiving and executing the comments. Now, if we go back to the RQT graph, let's refresh and let's keep the uh, nodes only here. You can see now, so we have two nodes. We have the turtle sim node and the teleop turtle node. So we have two programs running on the ROS graph. And well, we have different communications here, but you can see there is one going from the teleop turtle to the turtle sim. This is the Turtle 1 common velocity. That's a topic and again we're gonna see topics later in the course. But you can see basically what's happening. This program is gonna send comments to that program. Alright, and that's exactly what's happening. And make sure, okay, that when you want to make the turtle move, you have to actually select this terminal with the turtle teleop key, okay? So that when you use the keyboard, you can see the turtle is moving. If you select another uh, terminal, well, you're not gonna be able to move the turtle. You have to select that one. All right, and that's pretty much it for now. So what is a node? Well, a node is basically any program that also has access to ROS functionalities and ROS communications. We have seen that with nodes that just communicate between each other and that print logs on the terminal. You can also have nodes that create graphical interface, nodes that interact with the hardware, nodes that also, for example, host a web server or call a web server. Well, anything. And now congratulations because you've already seen a lot of things with ROS2 nodes, also with the command line. So you have an introduction to command line and some ROS tools like RQT Graph. From the next tutorial, we are going to see how to create your own ROS2 nodes. So you can create your own custom ROS2 programs.
All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course on Rust 2 for beginners. This course contains more than 10 hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete Rust 2 applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.